Okay, so welcome back. Now we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the installation of Hashcat. So go ahead and open up your browser. And, uh, type in Hashcat. Okay, go over to the Hashcat website. And you have two options here. You have the binaries and you have the source, source, sources. So you can definitely recompile it from the source code, but uh, you can just install the Hashcat binaries. So just click here, open with arc, okay. And then click extract to, extract to. I'm gonna extract mine to documents. So, okay, the process should be fairly fast. You can close it once it's done. And then let's go over to that place. Okay, so uh, uh, let's do it like this. So you have a bunch of things here and you don't really need to do much in terms of installation. It's just basically manually moving a bunch of files to designated places. Uh, let me sh let me show you. So ls uh, usr bin grep hash shy, and as you can see, I've actually have hashcat hashcat sixty four bin. Uh, dict stat, hashcat stat, hc tune, induct log, out files, pot, restore, but some of these files are auto generated. Anyway, let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing that you need to do is type in cp hashcat, and depending on whether, forget about the exit part, that's not for you. Uh, just need the, where is it? Hashcat 64 bin. So if your system is 64 bit, you take this one. If it's 32 bit, you take this one. So just 64 bin. And you're going to be copying this to USR uh, bin directory. So it says overwrite. Sure, you can. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it because I've already performed the installation one more time. And now, when you type in hash cat, you can gonna get 64 bin, but you don't really want to be typing in hash cat 64 bin every time you execute this. So let's go ahead and create ourselves a soft link. Uh, this is going to be sar bin uh, hash cat 64 bin, and then USR bin and the soft link will be hash cat. Okay, it says here fail to create because the file already exists. It's already there for me. But with this command, you create a hash cat basically shortcut. So you can type in when you use hash cat, you can just type in hash cat. You don't have to type in hash cat 64 uh, dot bin. It's a bit of a convenience really more than anything else. So that's kind of that's kind of nice. And there are a few more things that you will need to basically do. So you will also need to cp uh, opencl to usr bin. Uh, and it's a directory so you need like dash r and you can type in v for verbose mode and it says overwrite yes 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 i should have just said yes to all because this is uh hilarious i shouldn't have actually utilized the command because i already had it there but it's fine it's a bit of a clicking exercise and i wonder how many of them there are a lot of them <laughs> Okay, so you just you can see the drill. It's Y for yes. Should have just used the general Y 
to actually Oh my god Please have mercy on my soul Come on Why didn't I use the option to like forcefully just Ah, never mind. I hope that you're enjoying this as much as I am. Me being stupid as usual. Okay, forget about this. I already have the file. There's way too many of them anyway. So this is what you need to do. So CP RV OpenCL user bin. Okay, so LS, what else do you need to copy? Well, you need to go ahead and copy the HC stat and HC tune. And if it, if when you run Hashcat, if it complains that it's missing some things, we'll just come back to this file, find the missing things and then copy them to user bin. So CP uh, hashcat dot hc stat, and we're gonna do that user bin. Yes, and aside from hc stat, we also need another file. Let me just see where is it. Ah, uh, hc tune. Okay, so you're gonna need this one as well, and I do believe that that should really be it. When you run Hashcat, if it complains that it's missing something, just take a look at this directory here to which we have extracted it, and yeah, basically just copy it from there to the user bin, and it will find it by default. So, Hashcat, uh, okay, so apparently it's installed. Let's CD out of this directory and type in Hashcat, marvelous. It's actually installed. It is uh, up and running. So, I mean, it's, it, it's, it can see that it's installed if I type, if I'm not in the folder. So if I type in hashcat dash dash help, you can see that I have a lot of these things. And in the follow-up tutorial, we'll actually do a bit of an explanation here and how it works, but Hashcat has a lot of options. So you can see it immediately has a device type and the GPU is listed here. It has the char sets like Crunch has in that place. Uh, masks are also another interesting portion of uh, Hashcat as well. And as you can see, there are a ton load of options, but uh, since I'm going to need a bit of time to actually explain a lot of things here, I'm going to go ahead and have this done in the follow-up tutorial. But for now, you just know that it is installed because you can actually run it. We didn't run it to crack anything, but the program does run. Okay, so uh, bid you a farewell.